What's up Beam Tribe? Nick here from Ottawa and today the tool that we're going to cover is the calf reset. So today I'm using the 24 inch maple beam to do this um, but any you know any kind of beam or, or a broomstick or anything you like you can even use a foam roll but sometimes the hardness of the beam can be nice. So if you're watching this the assumption is that you've already watched um, the tissue reset awareness video uh, and you've already watched the ankle mobility awareness video so that you understand the things that you need to do in order to make sure that the work you're doing to reset the tissues stays permanent instead of just going back to the way it, it normally is uh, tomorrow and having to do this every day, right? The point is to use this as a reset to reprogram how your brain's thinking of using your calf muscle so that it doesn't just go back and get tight, okay? So if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, check out beamtribe.com. All the videos are in there in a sequence and it'll give more context to this, okay? So it's a couple ways to work on loosening up the tissues of your calf. Um, one of them is just working on kind of a flossing motion. So I'm sitting on the ground, I like to put my foot on, on the beam on the other side, and I can start by just rolling side to side. And if you got grisly tight calves, this feels terrible. And that's okay, you gotta start somewhere. So you can go from side to side, um, you can floss, so I can put some pressure there, I can even put my other leg on top, put a bit of pressure, and I can floss the muscle back and forth. So I'm basically pulling the muscle over um, the pressure point created by the beam. Okay, and you can go all the way up. Um, if I didn't have, if I had it on skin there, I could even do it where I kind of like roll the calf back and forth, let the skin stick down to the beam. So lots of ways, basically just put enough pressure that it's uncomfortable, but not so much that it feels terrible. And the tissue reset um, awareness video will give you more context as to how hard you should push um, and how to understand if it was too much pressure or not enough pressure based on the result. And don't forget that if you're loosening up the calf, with the intention of improving ankle mobility. Make sure you're testing ankle mobility before and after each session in order to understand whether you're being effective or not and whether you're actually dealing with uh, the root cause of why your ankle's tight. Uh, a different way that you can release the calf with, uh, with a beam is actually by doing this kind of um, rolling kind of method where you're just kind of getting in there. It's almost like a rolling pin for baking and you just kind of roll and actually a rolling pin for baking is a really good tool for this. But if you got a beam, it works nice too. And basically I'm snuggling that up in the back of my knees. I can just sit there and just kind of roll back and forth. I can use some pressure to go back and forth. I can roll up and down and you can kind of work your way all the way down and there are some nasty spots. So put as much pressure as you feel uh, is appropriate and just kind of work on it. Okay, so that's calf tissue reset. And the best one to follow, um, the best one to do after you've reset the calf, in, in our opinion, is the dorsiflexion step overs. And that should be the next um, tools video in line with Beam Tribe if you're looking at this through the Beam Tribe interface. Anyway, catch the next video.